Check engine light after oil change, causes and how to fix. We've all experienced a situation where the check engine light suddenly comes on, leaving you to worry about how serious the issue is. Neglecting also equates to gambling, where you are certain to lose at the worst possible time. The problem could be as serious as an engine that is misfiring or as minor as a blown fuse. If this occurs right after an oil change, it can be really upsetting. So, in this video, we'll go over the most common causes of check engine light after oil change and each of their solutions. Let's dive right in. What causes the check engine light after an oil change? 1. Low oil pressure. Keep in mind that performing an accurate oil check should not turn on the check engine light. The oil pressure gauge will also be reset if the car's engine is drained of oil. Be aware that the gauge won't have enough time to read correctly after changing the oil and installing a clean filter. The check engine light will briefly illuminate as a result because the automobile thinks the oil level is low. So, how do you fix this issue? Start your automobile and let it run for a few minutes so that the new oil can pump and circulate through the engine. If this was the issue, the check engine light should go out right away. 2. Unplugged MAF or MAP sensor. It is likely that if you had your engine oil changed by a repair, the MAF sensor had been unplugged so the mechanic could check the engine air filter or reach the oil filler cap. So, how do you fix this issue? The solution to this issue is very obvious. Simply open the hood, then locate the MAF or MAP sensor. If you find it unplugged, all you have to do is plug it back in. 3. Not fully seated dipstick. To check the engine oil level, use the dipstick. During an oil change, the dipstick will be repeatedly withdrawn, cleaned, and reseated to check the oil level. When the dipstick is inserted, an O-ring forms a seal and the dipstick fits snugly inside the dipstick tube. Unmetered air will be able to reach the engine if the dipstick is not installed. Internal engine components like cylinder walls, pistons, or valves may sustain damage as a result. So, how do you fix this issue? To quickly fix this, simply open the hood, locate the dipstick, and check to see if the tube is clogged. When you are certain that it is clear, reposition the dipstick so that it is firmly inserted. If you're finding this information helpful or have encountered this issue, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support keeps us going, and now, let's continue unraveling the check engine light after oil change mystery. 4. Excessive oil. Your check engine light can turn on if you overfill your engine with oil. Because the engine is sluggish or misfiring, your automobile may stall. Additionally, it can result in an oil leak, smoke coming from the tailpipe, or a complete failure to start. So, how do you fix this issue? This issue, also known as oil overfill, can be resolved by employing a suction pump to remove the extra oil. Decide whether you want to drain the oil from the cap access point or the dipstick tube before opening the hood of your car. Pick between an automated or manual pump. 5. The wrong oil was used. It's crucial to make sure you're using the right oil in your car. Your car may experience issues with the incorrect viscosity, grade, or weight of oil. You might use 10W40 oil instead of 5W40 since you believe the two to be comparably similar. An oil that is overly viscous won't provide the right lubrication, which prevents it from properly transferring heat. That implies that the oil will heat up too quickly, turning on your check engine light. So, how do you fix this issue? Draining the oil from your car will help you solve this issue. You must change the oil filter and add the right type of oil to the vehicle. 6. Gas cap is off-center or turned backward. When customers fill up their petrol tanks after changing their oil, the cap occasionally isn't fastened on tightly enough. Either it is backward or it is too loose. The system will be alerted by these issues, and the check engine light may illuminate. So, how do you fix this issue? By taking off the gas cap and reinstalling it properly and firmly, you can try to get the light to turn off. On some automobiles, the writing should be facing you. As this varies from vehicle to vehicle, this may have been the cause of why it was backward. In conclusion, the check engine light after oil change situation can be frustrating, but armed with the knowledge we've shared today, you're better prepared to diagnose and address it. Whether it's a loose gas cap, an oil filter issue, or something else entirely, don't let that pesky light stress you out. Thanks for joining us, and remember, keeping your car running smoothly is our priority.